Welcome to Microsoft Access Expert Level 18, brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. We will spend most of today's class talking about cross-tab queries. We introduced cross-tab queries in Expert 17. Today we'll go into cross-tab queries in a lot more depth. We'll see a few more examples of cross-tab queries. We'll learn how cross-tab queries work with criteria and parameters. We'll set up fixed column headings, date groupings, and we'll learn how to set up the partition function to create tiers or ranges of records. We'll learn about the find duplicates query used to find duplicate information in your tables. We'll learn how to find unmatched records in your database. In other words, a value from table A that does not have a matching value in table B, for example, all of the customers who do not have a matching contact. And we'll talk about a lot more of the advanced query properties. We'll learn about the unique values, unique records properties, record locking, record set types, Cartesian products, and lots more. This class follows Access Expert Level 17. In Level 17, we wrapped up our chapter on action queries, and we introduced cross-tab queries. So if you missed Access Expert Level 17, I recommend you take that class before watching this one. Today's class is recorded with Access 2013. It should work just fine with 2007 and 2010. If you're using Access 2003 or earlier, go to my website and download Access 223. That is the class that talks about cross-tab queries. My courses are broken up into beginner, expert, advanced, and developer level classes. Beginner level classes are for novices. You should understand all the topics covered in them by the time you get to the expert level classes, which you're in now. When you finish all of the expert level classes, the advanced classes will cover event programming and macros, and the developer classes will cover Visual Basic for applications. Each group of classes is broken down into multiple levels, level 1, 2, 3, and so on. In addition to my normal access classes, I also have seminars designed to teach specific topics. Some of my seminars include building web-based databases, creating forms and reports that look like calendars, securing your database, working with images and attachments, writing work orders and running a service business, tracking accounts payable, learning the SQL programming language, creating loan amortization schedules, and lots more. You can find details on all of these seminars and more on my website at accesslearningzone.com. If you have questions about the topics covered in today's lessons, please feel free to post them in my student forums. If you're watching this course in the online theater on my website, you should see the student form for each lesson appear in a small window next to the class video. Here, you will see all of the questions that other students have asked, as well as my responses to them and comments that other students have made. I encourage you to read through these questions and answers as you start each lesson, and feel free to join in the discussion. If you are not watching these lessons on my website, you can still visit the student forums later by visiting accesslearningzone.com slash forums. To get the most out of this course, I recommend you sit back, relax, and watch each lesson completely through once without trying to do anything on your computer. Then, replay the lesson from the beginning and follow along with my examples. Actually create the same database that I make in the video step by step. Don't try to apply what you're learning right now to other projects until you've mastered the sample database from class. If you get stuck or don't understand something, watch the video again from the beginning or tell me what's wrong in the student forum and I'll do my best to help you. Most importantly, keep an open mind. Access may seem intimidating at first, but once you get the hang of it, you'll see that it's real easy to use. Now I strongly encourage you to build the database that I build in today's class by following along with the videos. However, if you would like to download a sample copy of my finished database file, you can find it on my website at accesslearningzone.com slash databases. Sometimes if you get stuck, the easiest way to learn is to tear apart someone else's database. 
One of the ways that I taught myself access years ago was by tearing apart the Northwind Traders database that comes with Microsoft Access. You'll find there's a sample database for each of my courses on my website. Now let's take a few minutes and go over exactly what we're going to cover in today's class. In lesson one, we're continuing our work with crosstab queries from the last class. We'll begin with crosstab query parameters and fixed column headings. In lesson two, we'll take a look at a similar example, sales by quarter by sales rep, where the quarter is the column header. In lesson three, we're going to use the partition function to create product tiers based on the unit price of each product. Then we'll create a crosstab query to show the count of the number of products in each tier. In lesson four, we're going to learn how to create a find duplicates query, where we can find duplicate values in a table, and we're going to go over some of the more advanced query properties. In lesson five, we're going to learn how to build find unmatched queries and Cartesian products.